We heard about uh, what Shaquille O'Neal has said about the NBA wanting it to be scrapped. Do you agree with him? Yeah, so, I mean, Kobe is speaking from experience. I think the good thing, he's an analysis now, but he was also once a great player. So he understands what the players are going through, how they feel, how they're itching to get back on the court, um, how all of, they don't want all of their hard work to go in vain, especially the teams that were doing very well and at the top, but then there's all these what is, you know, and he had a lot of great points. He, he spoke about what if one person gets sick, then what do you do? Do you stop the game? Do you have to quarantine? Maybe all the teams um, that person has played in the last 14 days. Like, there's a lot of scenarios, a lot of things to really consider. And I like the point he spoke about the fans, you know, if they continue, there will be no fans. And he spoke from a player's perspective how the fans was like, it got you pumping, it, it, it helped your adrenaline. Like, playing with fans, it's not the same. You know, playing without fans, sorry, wouldn't be the same. Um, you know, the media and, and seeing even your the opposing fans, you know, when they're booing you or they have their signs, how that gets you fired up. And so I think... It, it, there's a lot to consider um, moving forward if the league does continue. Uh, but there was one point that he spoke about that the, if they did, the championship, the winner would be like an asterisk, almost like a consolation prize. So I think people wouldn't respect whoever won this um, year just because of all the things surrounding mm. this win and how the changes would be. So I think there's a lot to consider. Um, Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, hasn't made any decisions and said that no decisions have to be made in the month of May, but also that he's feeling positive about the momentum to resume the season. Yeah. Um, it, it's a very interesting one. And, and also to add, there, um, the National Basketball Players Association had an informal poll just recently. The regional representative, Tim McCormick and Frank, Berkowski um, was part of that. And they didn't really give the specifics on which players voted and whatnot, but they did say there was an overwhelming um, support to actually continue the season. So I think that's actually quite interesting as well. Mm. Now, let, let, let's talk about... Um the players, now we heard that some training facilities have been opened for them to train and all that, but in your heart of hearts, in your own opinion, um, do you really think that we should restart the NBA? Because for me, I, didn't, I did not see basketball, uh, have, we can't have a good basketball game without the fans. Yeah, um, so yeah, there are, there are some training um, facilities that have opened up. Um, I would have to go with Shaq on this, and I was once a player, so I understand that itch. I understand all the dynamics in the in the stadium when you're playing, what you need to get fueled and all that. But at the end of the day, safety and health is most important. Right now in the U.S., there's 1.4 million plus confirmed cases, over 83,000 deaths. The, to the polls are rising each and every day. And I just feel like starting the season right now or even next month, or this summer would be very premature and would put a lot of people at risk. Um, I believe, as Shaq believes, we should just scrap this season and look forward to the next one. Mm. All right, now let's go to the next stuff that we have for you this morning. It's about Kobe Bryant. Um, he's so rest in peace. Now, the Mamba Sports Academy is changing its name to the Sports Academy out of respect to Kobe Bryant. Now, Bryant died in a helicopter crash on the 26th of January, along with his 13-year-old daughter, Guyana, and seven mm -hmm. other people as they were headed to the Mamba Sports Center uh, in uh, Thousand Oaks, where Kobe was going to coach Guyana in a youth basketball game. Now, for... The Mamba Sports Academy, when I saw the story this morning, I was like, why would they want to change the name to just the Sports Academy? Is there anything we should know? Right. Um, I was a little shocked by this news, um, just because we know the significance that the Mamba Sports Academy had uh, on uh, Kobe Bryant, on Gigi, on the family. I mean, he passed away going on his way there. Um, and we know how excited and how um, important it was to him. Um, so it, it, I was a little taken back by the news, but then 
when I read into it and understood, I, I believe there's some legalities in there, especially the Kobe estate. They do want to protect, you know, his name, his rights, his proceeds. And, and I think the great thing, it was a mature agreement. I mean, we have to look at the history. The, um, the Sports Academy was launched in 2016 by CEO Chad, and then Kobe joined in 2018. So it, it was only about 14 months. He explained that it was a 14 months of extraordinary experience. Um, so I think with him not being around and to really drive that mission, um, it only really makes sense um, for them to, you know, set ties. I think the great thing is it was mutual. They, they said that they will hang, you know, his name, uh, the Mamba name and the Raptors. Um, but, yeah, I, and, I mean, for me, I would expect uh, the Kobe Bryant family to do something of their own. Uh, maybe create something else with the Mamba um, name. Um, so I think we can look forward to that because there's a lot of this legacy um, to really carry on and to move forward. And I'm sure they're putting a lot of things in place to do just that. Very true. Now, for the Lakers, don't you think that a, part, a section of the Lakers basketball court should also be named after Kobe Bryant? <laughs> yeah. I think that's the best. Far said. I mean, hmm. the Lakers are the Lakers. He, he is a part of that dynasty. Mm -hmm. He um, he has done so much for that dynasty, and obviously his, his jerseys have been retired. And I think in the future we can see a lot of tributes, a lot of um, things that will be coming up to support Kobe Bryant and um, you know the Black Mamba, the Mamba name. So I, I do expect that. I think you know when. Shortly after his passing, there was um, polls and um, people were really wanting to change the MVP name, I'm uh, sorry, the logo of the um, NBA to his logo. So there's been a lot of petitions and polls yeah. to support his legacy, and I think that will surely contain. Hopefully, some things will definitely come, come to pass. Thank you very much, Maka, for speaking with us today. Always a pleasure. Happy to be able to give my views on the NBA. Mm. All right. Do continue to enjoy the rest of your day. All right. That was Maka speaking on Kobe Bryant and, of course, at the NBA's possibility of returning very soon. I like the point she made on um, um, the Mamba Academy changing the name. Yeah, it's all for the respect for Kobe Bryant, but I just believe that his wife and family, they all are in agreement with this. Yeah, that's the first thing that they should have done, mm -hmm. and I believe that they did do that. Um, it's very pivotal that they have the consent of his mm -hmm. family, especially his wife and the remaining daughters, because, I mean, first of all, he was changed to Mamba and Mamba Sita Academy, mm -hmm. in memory of both him and Gigi. But now I think it seems like going forward, they want to keep that name Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. very, very sacred, because, I mean, it's still so shocking to the world, not just the world of sports, that we've lost such a great legend. And um, it's very important that you just keep everything about him prestigious. Mm -hmm. So that's one, that's one step, and that's one thing that they've done right now. Mm -hmm.